Hey Mochi fam, this is Kevin, I'm Mochi's dad, and welcome to our first YouTube video. Right now we are in the getaway houses in upstate New York, specifically the Western Catskills, and it was probably around a two to three hour drive from the city with some traffic. This was the perfect weekend to arrive since the fall foliage has nearly peaked. You can see all the yellow and green leaves up on the trees and on the ground. You get this probably 150 to 250 square feet small studio apartment. Our cabin is named Cindy and it is a single bedroom. It seems to be an ADA room just because of the lack of stairs, no high shelves, and larger bathroom than other cabins from what we've seen online as well. Oh, okay. A nice cozy room. We got our puff treats. From Purina, bacon, bacon cheese flavor, nice welcome note from the staff. Two aqua for lip repair sticks. My cell phone lock box for a true escape. Forget your phone inside. S'mores kits. And some provisions. First is here. This is the bed with the window background. A little smaller window here. There's Mochi. Oh, Mochi. Cut. Yeah. Thank you, little bed here. Alright, everybody want to go to bed? Mm -hmm. A little fridge. This way, Mochi. Not for you. Not for you. Little kitchen, box right here. A water boiler, soap, dishes and cups. And here's the bathroom. Two towels. Shower curtains, not a shower. First aid kit. Extra toilet paper. Table, some books, which mostly are upside down, but no worries. Playing cards. Remember. Are you on bed, won't you? I don't know. There's some space here. There's a little space down here. Oh, yeah, there's another window here for views. All the windows seem to have a little privacy shades. There you go. There are two types of cabins. One with a single bed, as you can see with the one that we booked, and another one with two beds, a uh, bunk bed style. I am currently using a T-Mobile phone plan. There is no cell phone reception, so be sure to download an offline map to get to the outpost safely. The phone in the cabin works as a regular landline and you can make calls to anyone outside free of charge. All of the cabins are dog friendly and charge $40 for stay and they provide doggy bowls for them to eat and drink. A roll of poop bags and some bacon treats. You can't leave your dog alone in the cabins and you shouldn't since your dog should be on the walk with you. Many of the hiking trails near the apples are dog friendly. So you can enjoy some incredible views and your pup can get some needed exercise. Our first destination will be Catterskill Falls. Here they go, Jim. What can you do for you? Hard to see, but there are people down there. Probably the trail part of it. We took a drive up here. So we just 
went to the viewing platform, which wasn't that impressive to be honest. It was pretty much a small wooden platform overlooking the side of the waterfall. And of course you're above everybody else, so we got to see some people on the ground just doing the trail walk. Uh, so the walk to the viewing center wasn't that long. I think it was 0.3 miles from where we parked the car. It doesn't seem like there's much left, so we are going to walk back to the car right now. Go back home before it gets too dark. Alright, good morning. We got some breakfast right here. French toast. And grab some water for some coffee. A little small, cozy kitchen. View of our neighbors. Our semi organized bed. In the backyard. Hey guys, we made it to Lake Minnewaska. It was around an hour drive from our cabins. Not too bad, it was scenic road, mostly just forest upstate. And yeah, here we are. Look at this beautiful body of water pretty much you get to walk you can hike the whole lake all around it and I'm not sure we can do that today since it is pretty late we left we left a little bit late after lunch but we're going to try to walk as much as we can get most use of exercise mostly it's a paved road here pretty easy to walk but probably not too much elevation or decline Good morning, Mochi. How are you feeling? Still a little tired. I don't think he's got his full 12 hours of sleep yet for the day. Uh, we got to enjoy our sights. Got to sort of disconnect from the world, away from the city. And yeah, got to spend some close time with Mochi. Hey Mochi fam, it's been a few days since we got back from the Gateway Cabin and we just wanted to take an extra minute to thank you for making this part of the video and hope you enjoy our first recorded adventures. My goal for this channel is to document and share my experiences with Mochi. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the video or you learned something new. Alright, last but not least, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more adventures from us. Alright Mochi, can you get the camera? Let's go. Let's go back up.